It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This what is, is going on, everybody? Oh, Welcome back for some more Wolf this. Among Us. We're in a little bit of a rush here, but uh, I just want to say welcome back, everybody. We are now continuing on with the rest of the story of Episode 3. We are where we're supposed to be, which is, I guess, intercepting Crane and the Witch's meeting. So let's see. Let's eavesdrop here. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Okay. Uh... Crane, we know you're in there. Greenleaf, open up. This is the Sheriff's, Sheriff's. Department. I'm gonna need you to open the door immediately. Oh, snap. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? <laughs> Rachel? Who are you? Just so... I'm the big strangers. bad wolf. That is so awesome. I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Uh, Rachel, may Maybe I look come around? Back in the morning. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. She just straight up let them in. I love it. <laughs> I've been there all night. Nobody's been here. She's awfully suspect, isn't she? Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. It's kind of a nice apartment. <laughs> oh man, there's so many options here. Okay, hang well, on a second. He's been over all night, so he's just going to check. I'm gonna check this tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Oh, I bet that's where the uh, glamours? glamours are from. Yeah, I was right. She doesn't know. Not She's like, There's no one here but me. Why? Maybe she took the glamour and she's now, like, tiny. You know what I mean? Where like, if it can change a troll clothes? into something smaller. At store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. It's... Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Is that voice actress like for the little girl the same oh, as really? uh I love the it. one in Walking Dead? I gotta look that up. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Dick's Mountain. Do you Mountain. have any pets? <laughs> that your mom? Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. There's more things that we can investigate here. Partition. Looks like she's hiding something, doesn't she? Ah, look Nothing at that. Looks like, like a door. Here either. Nothing. See. <laughs> See? Cheeky little girl. How much longer do you think it'll be? Well, there's one more thing we can look at back here. Let's see, this door. Delivered to Aunt the butcher. Greenleaf. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Yep. 
Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. I think she is... I think she just used it. No, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. No, you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please! Holy don't. shit! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please! I'm begging you! I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble! Who's the little girl in the picture? What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Where is Crane? What was his plan? How am I supposed to know? He came, he went, like all young lads. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder, do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. Uh-oh. She knows something we don't? It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Oh, Snow White is throwing the zingers. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. 
Big B. You burn the trees? No, you aren't my boss yet. Greenleaf, I'm hiring you. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. <laughs> I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. Oh. You get to keep your fucking tree. <laughs> I feel bad. Just like, don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. She brings up a good point about don't the men become heroes and all about that. So what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. You know, I'm I'm all about writing. Like I write, and I I'm a filmmaker on the side. I'm an actor, and I am all about making sure that there's equality in that field. You know, like stories need to be told. Severe case of lycanthropy. Lycanthropy. So that's like werewolf, right? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Did you guys end up burning it? Did you not? I'm actually really curious to know if you've played this and uh, which decision you guys picked. Because I'm actually really curious to know what happens when you do burn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And God, these Xbox load times are ridiculous. I'm wondering if this is the case for PC. That's Crane's car. No, Snow White like just strolls right in. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, fucking fuck, man! Tell me what you know, now! Well, that was the short of that. Just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Crane, get away from her. Poor Nerissa. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. I can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. I want to slap him just, just because. Let me show you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to you. Damn you. Come on. Please, tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Oh shit. The way she said that, that was crazy. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Two, maybe. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found photos. What happened to you? You screwed up. Well, I mean, I guess the obvious thing right? is to. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Ouch. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. 
Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. There's nobody else that's even remotely... He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. I love that they're talking because about him in front of him. Is one thing, <laughs> and I won't kill a man for that. He glamoured a prostitute to look like you. He played out his sick fucking fantasies over and over. We can't condemn people to death for just being gross. Snow, I... And no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. He embezzled millions from Fabletown, Bigby. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was gonna pay all of that back. Oh, fuck. Fine. Embezzlement. We'll get him on what we can. Thank you. I like the little Puss in Boots photo that they've got in the background. Of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, but so be it. I have no regrets. Damn. Except getting caught, right? Almost broke his nose. the story go from here I wonder where are you taking us where are you taking us telltale games what have you what web are you spitting I'm really enjoying my time on this game guys I hope you are too um, like I said in an earlier episode there is or I'm sorry earlier part there are two more episodes left and that's plenty of time to to wrap up what story they've got going on I feel oh, okay Keeps pushing this guy. It's hilarious. <laughs> Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Loving that. Loving that spunk from Snow White. Oh, someone's gonna get shot right here. This is not good. They should have went back in. What are they doing? Is it Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I wonder? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes it is. Hi. What you got there? Who is this? Look, 
It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? Guys? What do you want? Speak English. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, shit. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. I thought I was able to dodge that. These guys are happy with what they did. Big B. Oh shit! We're gonna hulk out, guys. Here we go. <laughs> We've been waiting for this moment, haven't we? This is badass! He's just walking. Oh man, what a boss. Oh shit, alright, here we go. Hulking out. This is freaking exciting. I'm, I was wondering when he was gonna stop like being so restrained, you know? Oh, we're moving. We're moving, guys. I love that Bloody Mary's just back there being all cool and stuff, not knowing. Oh shit, it's slowing down. Shit, he's so fucking brutal. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed the dumpster earlier. Oh, not the right button. Not what I meant to press. Somehow we just did it anyway. I hit right trigger on that one. Oh shit, I can kill him or let him go. Well, I'm not a killer, so... Lucky guy. I hope he knows. I hope he remembers this moment. He let Tweedledee live. Now she's seen it, man. But she's seen the good side! Shooting with a silver bullet. It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. Oh, the axe. You know, you wouldn't think 
silver bullet to work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just what we can use. Oh shit, Crazy. no, no, no! I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> I am mashing this like crazy, guys. My hand is hurting! <laughs> I I can't. Come on, come on, Bigsby. Come on, buddy. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. That was intense. Holy shit. All right. I'm, I'm guessing that's the end of that episode. Enchanted land of New York City. Man, that could have gone so many different ways. I mean, I didn't really want to kill him because I know deep down inside that's not who I want my Bigsby to be. You know what I mean? Like, the misunderstood wolf. Come on. Too easy to have selected kill Tweedledee for all the shit that he did. You know? Here we go, preview for the next episode. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody? Not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> And again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Ooh. Well, there you have it, guys. That is episode three in the books. Let's see. Let's check our player choices here. Did you interrupt? You and 81% decided not to interrupt. Oh, interesting. Uh, you, what place did you investigate first? You and 20% investigated the Tweedledee's office first. Ah, as I suspected would have been the case. Uh, did you offer? Yeah, you and 90 offered. Oh, see, everybody's nice, yeah? Did you catch green? You and 80% did not burn. Oh, interesting. Did you kill? Wow, that is half. I mean, like, almost half. 
Woo, join the discussion. I love it. Well, thank you very much, Telltale, again, for the experience. And thank you guys out there who are watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know uh, if there's something you want to see specifically. Maybe I can go back and make different choices. But, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's actually possible. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And, uh, I I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure you're like me. I'm, my appetite is whetted from the start. And I cannot wait for the very next one. Uh, but I guess I'm going to have to like satiate that some other ways. So let me know if you guys are also reading the book fables. Uh, I've been I, Like I mentioned earlier, I, I added it to my wish list. I really want to read it. So anyway, thank you all very much. I will see you in the very next one. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this. Uh, no pressure, of course. But uh, I don't want you guys missing out for the other ones. So thank you all. See ya. Bye.